The nuclear explosion in Japan has thrust the debate over nuclear energy back into the world spotlight. Believe it or not, I'm in the pool in a wetsuit on TV. Today we caught up with Jay Lair, a Ph.D. in environmental science and director of the Heartland Institute, a science think tank. He's making the rounds on national talk shows today, but also training for an Ironman competition at a swim club in Hilliard. That's why he's in a wetsuit. Lair is pro-nuclear energy. The politicians and the anti-nukes are going to try to take advantage of it. But I feel exactly the opposite. I think as the weeks and months go by and we see that Japan handled the worst imaginable disaster and there was no uh, impact on human health from radiation uh, poisoning or loss of life, uh, I think that we'll actually have an incident to show that we can handle the worst case situation. We also spoke to OSU professor Rich Denning, who echoed similar concerns over over concern people are so afraid of radiation but the reality is that that these that a severe accident um, you know like water reactor the kinds of re reactors we're talking about here if you get the containment stays intact for a period of time then you just assured you're not going to get a significant off-site dose that would lead to radiation sickness. It's horrible, uh, you know, the whole earthquake and the floods and the tsunami, are, I'm sure the death toll is going to be well up into the thousands. The death toll from uh, the nuclear power plants being shut down and having meltdowns will likely be zero. It might be one, it might be two, uh, it will not get out of single digits. The health impact of radiation moving through the countryside will be zero. In the meantime, a potential nuclear disaster looms in a country which has already had one of its worst natural disasters. I'm Mike Bowers.